These videos are educational in nature and meant to help 21 and over adult smokers switch to a healthier alternative. Welcome back to the channel, folks. I am Matt. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we're gonna check out the Orion Art from Lost Vape. Now, the Orion series has been going on for years, been very popular. This one takes the UB Mini Coil, so let's go ahead and dive into it. So inside, you will, of course, have a user manual and a warranty card. You'll then have your device. You get two coil heads, a lanyard, and this little ring, which I believe is for connecting your lanyard, and finally, a USB-C cable. All right, so here is the Orion Art. This thing has a built-in 800 milliamp hour battery made out of a plastic, like they're a crystal material, crystal plastic. I forget exactly what they call it. It feels really well done and uh, makes the whole thing translucent, obviously. So you have this little design right here in front of your battery. There's some more design over there, and it says Lost Vape on that side. Little Lost Vape logo down there as well, a little badge on that plastic. Then on the face there, you have your Quest chip, and you have a fire button. This does have auto draw or fire button draw. I think that that looks really cool though, and you have some light indicators that will light up in there as well. And then on the bottom, your USB-C charging port. Now the pod is held in by magnets. There's what the inside looks like. You got magnets, contacts, draw activation tube, and these pods do hold 2.5 mLs of liquid built-in drip tip, pretty good size, like a good 510 drip tip size that'd be good for mouth to lung. It does have airflow control on this side as well. So right there, it's all the way open and then right there, it's all the way closed. It does have a side fill port right there and there's what the bottom looks like. You got your magnets. Now this takes the UB mini coil heads. I believe the, uh, this comes with the S1 and S2. These are also cross compatible with the newest, I think it's the newest uh, uh, Ursa devices, Ursa pod devices and other uh, Orion devices as well. So very nice they're using some of the same coils. And this one right here is the 1 ohm, really small writing. These are Canthal. There's what the inside looks like. Might not be able to see it. Very, very long chimney. Then the other one you get is the 0.8 ohm. All right. And there's what the inside of that looks like. And this one's supposed to have a little bit looser airflow, but you can, of course, adjust the airflow on the pod. So I'm going to use some Blueberry Morning 12 milligram from the unsalted line. And I am going to take a couple drops of liquid and put it down the top just to prime this coil up. And now let's put the coil head in. You'll notice the base has an interesting shape and that will line up over here. So basically just line up those angles. It basically goes like this. There we are, push it all the way down, and now it is fully installed. And you'll notice it's a pretty leak resistant design because the airflow is coming in high up and then down a chamber and over to your coil head. Now let's go ahead and fill this thing, 2.5 ml capacity. Pretty easy to fill with the side fill port because it's on the narrow side, not on the you know long face of it. I do think they could have made this rubber plug a little bit beefier, you know, so it lasts longer. So be careful when you are taking it out, taking it off and putting it back in that you don't rip it or anything. Now let's install our pod like so. Nice strong magnets and let's turn it on five clicks. Okay, so you'll see the light indicator there. And that will go from green to blue to red, depending on where your battery is at. And like I said, this is also a draw activated device. And that's pretty much it guys. This does give you a maximum of 18 Watts. Very, very lightweight, obviously very, very pocketable. Uh, you know, probably the lightest Orion device we have ever seen. I like it. When you're firing it, if you wanna use the button, you hold it like this, or you can pointer fire it like this. You just wanna make sure you don't hold it up too high to where you're blocking the airflow, but it is a pretty long device, so that's you know fairly hard to do, I found in normal day-to-day -day use. I just naturally grab it lower. All right, guys, that is it for the up close. Let's go ahead, go up top, vape this, and talk about it a little more. All right, here's the Orion Art from Lost Vape. Remember, I have the 0.8 ohm coil inside. We'll start out with the airflow wide open. It's got a fairly loose draw wide open, kind of in between, you know, a loose mouth to lung and a tight restricted lung hit. Here we go. Yeah, so you can get a decent, you know, tight restricted lung hit off of this. I wouldn't have used 12 milligram if I wanted to use it that way. Probably would have used six, but I like this better with the airflow closed down about two thirds of the way, maybe even a little bit more. Then I get a nice medium mouth to lung draw. Very good. Here it is in auto draw. 
and that seems to work as well as button fire on this, so definitely usable in both modes. Now, going into pros and cons, cons first. Um, first off, you know, I, I'm not crazy about the rubber plug situation on this one, um, mostly because it's fairly thin. So, you know, you're going to have to be careful when you're uh, filling this thing up not to be too hard on it. And it'll still last a while, but, you know, it's better to make it more robust so people don't have to treat it so gently when they go to fill it up. So I think that they should have made the fill port plug uh, beefier or possibly done some kind of top fill. Although, you know, it's not a very wide pod, so I'm not sure if they would have had room to put it up here. So that's one con. Um, something else worth mentioning is I do wish there was a way to deactivate the fire button and still have it work in auto draw mode. There is no way to do that. If you turn it off, both modes are turned off. But I will say the button's pretty stiff, you know, on it. So I haven't found that I'm accidentally pressing it on accident or anything like that. Now, um, going into pros, super lightweight, but I still like the build quality. The plastic used on this feels really nice. It's well done. Doesn't have a, a hold a lot of fingerprints either. The vape quality off of it is nice. I get good flavor. Obviously a big pro that it does use those UB mini coils, which are cross compatible with quite a few devices. I think the mouthpiece is comfortable for mouth to lung. It has airflow control. Would have been nice if it did have, you know, power control, a couple different power settings, but it doesn't. USB-C charging, which is a plus and it holds 2.5 mLs of liquid, which is a little bit more than some, you know, a lot of the 2 mL pod systems out there. Very good. So all in all, it's a simple little Orion device, definitely lightweight, definitely pocketable, performs well, looks cool. Just be careful of that fill port plug. And uh, I wish there was a way to deactivate that button. That's basically where I'm at. Very nice job, Lost Vape. I hope this review was helpful for you. That about wraps it up. Until next time, thanks for watching.